Now let's imagine we've got x-ray vision and we could see through the carb body. It would look something like this. Now let me simplify this drawing even more so it's more like a somatic diagram. There we go. We've got it all nice and primed up there, ready to start. So let's imagine then that this carburetor is fixed to a machine and we've just primed it up and we're going to try and start the machine. So then we can see just how the carburetor works. And just for illustration purposes and to make things a little simpler, let's open the throttle wide as we can. So the throttle is now set and let's now imagine that the operator has pulled the starter pull cord. And so the engine started turning over, it's now cranking, and that's drawing in air through here, through the inlet. So the engine's now fired up, and there's a constant supply of air going into the engine now, that the engine's pulling through the Venturi. So the Venturi has now began receiving a supply of fuel from the metering area here. How we adjust this screw here. This is a single screw adjustment. On conventional carburetors, we normally have two, a H and an L for the high and the low. And I do already have videos on how to adjust the two screw adjustments like this, so please take a look at that if you need to see that. They are already uploaded here onto my channel, so please do take a look. If you take a little search through, you should find them easy enough. But let's get back to our single point adjuster. And if we take a look at the screw there, we can see that it extends right through inside the car body and it terminates there on the jet. Of course, this screw is adjustable and any turning of this screw clockwise would mean that the screw would screw in and protrude into the main jet. And of course, when the engine's running, we need a constant supply of fuel coming past here in order to go up into the Venturi. So let's concentrate on this area a little more. And we can see there that the end of the screw is just meeting the main jet. And so now, if we turn this screw clockwise and it all moves inwards, it will protrude in further into the main jet. It won't actually stop the fuel at this point, but it'll just restrict it, allowing less to go up into the Venturi. And of course, if less has gone up into the Venturi, and let's imagine we've screwed this screw in too far, then there'll be too little fuel going up there for the engine, of course, and of course it won't be able to combust properly. So engine revs will actually come down because we've got too little fuel going in. So as I've showed there in the centre of the Venturi, we've got less fuel going in and less air now because the engine isn't revving so high, it's revving very low, so there's less air coming through. And this is the state that we refer to as being too lean, because what we're trying to say when we say the engine's running too lean is that there is too little fuel going up into the engine. It's lean of fuel, and this is the problem it causes. And generally, the symptoms of too little fuel going up into the engine is that sort of bogged down sound, that aww. It's like a lean sound. It's lean of fuel. There's air going in there so much, but we've got too little fuel. Now let's see what happens when we go the other way. Let's see what happens when we screw this screw out way too far, allowing too much fuel up. OK, so we've screwed this screw anti-clockwise now, and it's screwed outwards. And as you can see, it's not protruding into the main jet at all, and it's offering no restriction whatsoever of that fuel going up into the Venturi. And because we've got too much fuel going up there and the engine's drawing in too much fuel, it's actually flooding the engine. And we've got a similar problem with airflow here going in. Because it's flooding the engine, the engine isn't working very efficiently. And so engine revs are coming down. And so there's less airflow coming in through the Venturi. And when we refer to flooding, of course, all that we mean is that we've got too much fuel going into the engine now and it's flooding the engine with all that fuel. And generally, it means having to remove that fuel before we can ever get the engine running again properly. Generally, we can take the spark plug out and turn the engine over a few times, and that can get rid of some of that fuel enough to start the engine again. And then, of course, we need to clean the spark plug, dry the spark plug off. And now let's go through a scenario where we've got this mixture screw setting just right. So it's protruding into the main jet perfectly. It's restricting it just enough, but not too much, to allow the right amount of fuel to go up the main jet and out into the Venturi there. And you can see there we've got a nice mix of air to fuel, a nice ratio of the two, which is perfect for combustion. So we've got that air 
and fuel there together and it's made that fuel nice and atomized so that the engine can combust it and we've got maximum airflow now going through the Venturi as we can see there and everything's running efficiently. Okay so we now know that this is the mixture screw and it's a single adjustment and we know how that works. 